does that. And he's going for the mystical monkey. And, and no, no, he did DDT. And now, once more, Mr. Amazing laying in the right hands. And he takes down the table. I don't know why. He took it down. And then he throws Monkey Fist over the stairs. Now, where's Mr. Amazing doing? Set up it. Set up that ladder. Oh, run right, right, right into a punch from Monkey Fist. And Mr. Amazing knocks down Monkey Fist. DDT's his foot. I believe it was right. I, I believe it was right on the stairs. Wait, there's monkey fist again. The knife age takes him down. Monkey fist, Mr. Amazing. They both be tired out here. Wait. And there's the snap jabs again. Little shake round and roll again. He connects with it. What is Mr. Amazing thinking here? Wait, he goes around monkey fist. And he lights the table on fire. Wait, no, he ducked it. There's the amazing impact. Amazing arm. Um, not thinking of doing this stunt, is he? What is he trying to do here? Yeah. He's jumping over the Oh my god! Oh my god! He just sacrificed himself to take out Monkey Fist! The, the flaming table just exploded! One, two, three! This one's over! King and King Killer bro. Now we got cameras on it now. Now King's just closed on the hell out of King Killer. Now we're going for DT Nate? No. King Killer denied it. King is supposed was supposed to have a match, but I don't think he's gonna be competing in that match because he's been rolling with the King Killer right now. See King Killer King does that tire. <laughs> Throws King. Right into that wallet. On again! The bulldog and the concrete. These two will be the hell in a cell. Crash and burn. But now we have to go to our main event. So we Well, you can ask me, since he wasn't going to put his best for our he's still putting on a match tonight. He said he's calling a warm-up match, of course. And, um, crash course match. And what better way to do that than to have a, a good old-fashioned fatal four-way. I mean, this is this one for one 
fall is a fatal four-way match. Introducing first, from New York, New York, weighing 149 pounds, he is the EWWE World Champion, Justin Alex 2.0. Going darker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh and his opponent from Planet Cybertron, weighing well over one ton, Nemesis Prime. Nemesis Prime is making his way down to the ring. He's one of the three opponents in this matchup. He's not in the Crash Course matchup, obviously. He's in the match with Superman, but this is what Ascadillo calls a warm-up match. Have to wonder what's going through his circuits. Oh no. Oh no. He's also competing in this match, obviously. There he is. Asked him if he would actually put Ryan in a matchup. And his other opponent from Middleton, weighing 222 pounds, Ron Stoppable. Ron Stoppable. Making his way into the squared circle. I wonder who the replacement for the king is, because he was supposed to be in this matchup as well. Unstoppable. Okay, so this match has his nemesis prime. This is what has to do with it called the warm-up match. Well, I don't even trust it all. It's a face-off once before, I believe. Triple threat, when Robin was involved in that. And here, oh, and here comes Tsunami. He still has that symbolic title with him. Looks like he's still upset that he lost his title to Sergio, but he has the chance to regain it to pass and burn. Tsunami's been doing this with a lot of titles, one of the least. He's been the title for in the ring from Domino City, Japan weighing 105 pounds Tsunami Tsunami. Well, Ron Stoppable is taking on 
Nemesis Prime, and a big boot to the side of the face of Nemesis Prime. His educated feet are unstoppable. It proves maybe to overmatch the power of Nemesis Prime. Nemesis Prime just shook, just shook those off though, but now Ron is still trying to fight back. Watch around Tsunami because Justin Alex is about to deliver a leg drop on the apron and all oh, Prime Line! Right into the corner goes Ron Stoppable after that Prime Line. There's a side headlock. No Ron counters. Now Tsunami with the elbow and now Ron is going for a neck break on Nemesis Prime. Wait a minute, Justin Alex drop kicks Tsunami off the apron. And gets out the ring. While Nemesis Prime is in the ring. Oh, there's another Prime Line! And another Prime Line! It's like three Prime Lines in a row, oh no. Wait, no, I thought he was going for the Transform Slam, but instead he decides to deliver a swinging sidewalk slam. Wait, didn't notice that Justin Alves threw Tsunami into the crowd. Necker. Fans getting a close up view of this match up here. It's this announced and tsunami fighting on the outside while Nemesis Prime and Ron Stoppable fighting on the inside. There's an elbow to the side of the head. Ron Stoppable. You gotta wonder whoever wins this matchup will have a lot of momentum going into Crash and Burn. Oh no! And look out, Ron is about to get flattened here by Nemesis Prime! It's a slingshot body splash. Oh, just look, look at that power. Just lifting Ron up by his jaw and then slams him down. That is the power of the Cybertronian known as Nemesis Prime. Throws him out that wait, never mind. Wait, no. Nemesis Prime countered. You know, a belly to belly suplex. Wait, no, on the outside. Oh, a shot with a crush by Justin Alex. And Ron is going for a neck break on Nemesis Prime once more. I didn't know Nemesis Prime doesn't really have a neck. There's wires in that neck. Wireless neck. Maybe he has wires in this neck. We, uh, we, 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 may, we may not know. We can't just dismantle it. We find out. Nor no has really let us in the first place. He dropped it to the back, by the way. Oh, did you see that? He just powered Ron Stoppable down. Now, club to the back. Then a shot to the back of the skull. This is probably the only one that's not a fan favorite in this match. I don't know what this analysis is doing on the outside. He was coming over to my announce table. I don't know what for. Just took something off of my... I believe he just took something off of my announcer's table. I don't even know what, what that was. Maybe it's some of my food, I don't know. Better give it back if it was. The chances of him giving it back now, though, because he's fighting Tsunami. Oh, there's a drop kick to Nemesis Prime, and there's a Hurricane Runner by Justin Alex. Oh, there's another drop kick to Nemesis Prime. And Nemesis Prime keeps getting right back up. Wait, now Justin Ellis is going after Nemesis Prime. The elbow to the face. Justin Ellis really does not back down. They come back to bite him. Nemesis Prime is going to slam him down with a full Nelson slam. That was power right there. Pure power. And there's a... And now Ryan going after that knee of Tsunami. Oh, a steel chair! A steel chair to the skull of Justin Alice dead another one! And that is Cybertronian strength, ladies and gentlemen. Not a good way to spend a Friday night. Surprised Justin Alice is gonna bust that open. Did he just snatch a soda off of a fan? I think make him short circuit or something. Wait, Tsunami goes after Justin. Oh, Prime Line out of nowhere! Justin Alice gets right back up though. Well, I don't know what Justin Alves tried to do there. He almost got hit with a sledgehammer, but it takes it off of Tsunami. Oh, wait, Ron tried to hit Tsunami with a steel chair, but... Oh, wait, no. I thought... Wait, flat forward, then it kips up.